All right, well, I'm not big on unboxing videos, but I understand their usefulness. So this is gonna be one for Lucky Tackle Box. This is my first ever Lucky Tackle Box transaction. Uh, let's start with the phone here. This is what I ordered. I ordered the multi-species tournament bonanza box. I am a multi-species multi angler. They claim MSRP of $85 or more. Uh, they charge 47 bucks, but it's right now on sale as of today, November 1st, 2019, on sale for 15 bucks. So I took the bait, I bought it, and here it is. So let's get to it. I wanna see what this is. Pretty excited. All right, so what do we have? All right, not terrible right away. We have, was there any, no paperwork, okay. So right away we have the X-Sight two to five foot diving tungsten ball bearing crankbait. It says silent, but it has tungsten ball bearings. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Still a uh, nice chartreuse color. This will get some use, nice little square bill. Plastic. Uh, let's see here, what's this? The VNM Drop Shad Green Pumpkin. This, I see this being a really good, actually, uh, drop shot. Maybe a good trailer, but honestly, this screams drop shot to me. This will catch fish. I'm happy with this. It's sample size was like maybe five of them in there. Oh, five pack, yep. California Classic. So it looks like a bait and company, Golden State Grub. Honestly, it looks like a blue and silver curly tail, probably in the three inch variety, maybe two. Yeah, three inch. Uh, I don't fish blue baits very often because I don't fish muddy water very often or dark, you know. But I could see when in the early spring, I there's a local pond near me that's very deep. And uh, early spring, I, I think this will be useful because I don't usually go down that deep. But eh, not really big on this one. Rage tail. So we got three Strike King Rage Tails. These are huge. Was that six? That's six. Okay. Ooh, okay. Never mind. So this is actually a real legit package. This isn't like a sample size. This I'm very happy about. These are going to be great on a jig. Um, early in the year. Uh, this is a really good color match for uh, the local craw in New England. So I'm actually very happy about that. So we'll talk about don't care. Happy, happy, happy. Continuing on. Interesting frog. Uh, so this is the Buzz Frog from Blitz Lures. This is really interesting. I want to get a better look at this. Can I open it real quick? Get the knife off the table so it doesn't. So you got big kickers here. So. Right away, my one concern is I live in New England and all of our frogs, if you flip them over, their bellies are white. Um, I think this will do great in uh, when the water's not clear. I've never fished this style of frog before, so this will actually be a really interesting experience. I'm not unhappy with it. Um, I just, honestly, I don't know what I'm in for, so kudos. So these guys for giving me something fun to play with. So we'll call that the I don't know pile. Moving on, cream. So cream lures, uh, I found them to be inexpensive. This is like a, it's a stick bait, five inch stick bait, watermelon red. I love the color. I fish this color um, in Senko all the time. They're a little thinner than Senko's and a little shorter. I'm gonna say these are probably good for a slightly more finesse application. Happy with these, uh, good bargain. So 
So, like those. Now this. Look at the size of the tails on these. So this is a, uh, the Buzztail Shad 4-inch Pro White. So they're clearly swim baits. But I will use them both as swim baits and as... Uh, ooh, they're scented. Um, I will also use these as a trailer um, on a white... Uh, Oh, the smell. You know, it's a very faint smell. It's like if you caught like a sunfish, uh, like a bluegill, and you took away all the gross smell and like that sweetness that's left behind, it's interesting. Uh, it's not strong, it's a very subtle smell. Um, I think these are a win. Uh, let's see here, the little hustler crappy tubes. I suck at tube fishing. I don't even have hooks. I'm hoping there's some hooks in here for these. Um, where I live, uh, there are two major watersheds with crappie with terrible shore access. And this coming season, I'm going to be moving into kayak fishing. So this isn't exactly a bad thing to have. Um, because I am going to start crappie fishing with kayak with a kayak. I wouldn't recommend this from the shore just because I have bad experience. So that's in the maybe pile. Z-Man. Now, Z-Man baits I've had really good luck with. And they're... So we got six pack of green pumpkin, three inch... What is this? The TRD Hogs. So it does look like a bug. No, I don't Ned Rig. But no scent. They're definitely creature bait on the medium size. I think these will actually shine when something like this just isn't working. The big chunky baits just aren't catching the fish. They're being finicky. I think these are gonna be great. I've had really good experiences with Z-Man, so I'm gonna go ahead and call these a win as well. Up right here. Ooh, black spinnerbait. Uh, now this one's an interesting one. It's got a willow blade, uh, fluorescent orange eyes with some red glitter in the black. And ooh, it's got some rattles too. Cool. Um, half ounce. I have never, again, I don't fish a lot of dark water. So you're not gonna, I mean this, it's hard to, I'm assuming the video is not gonna show it. This, this willow blade is not really, uh, it's got like a dark finish to it, so it's not gonna throw a lot of light, which is fine because in dark water it's throwing the thump, 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 and that's really what's gonna catch the fish. And then the rattle, yeah. Um, if I can grow a pair of balls and start fishing uh, muddy water, I think this is probably gonna be a go to search bait. I like it. Um, again, that's what these boxes are all about is exposing yourself to things that you don't normally fish. I think this is a, I'm going to call it maybe because I've never fished this, so there we go. We've got three more things here. Mustad hooks. Demon Perfect Circle Inline Black Nickel 8 hooks. 4 aught. Oops, sorry about that. Circle hooks. Now, hmm. I like circle hooks, but I'm thinking I need to start catfishing. Because I don't really do the, you know, like cut bait and let it soak. I, I'm an active fisherman. I like moving baits. Um, but I don't have circle hooks in this size. I'll call it a maybe. I don't know. What's this? All right. So we got some snelled hooks here. Um, they're not bait holders. They don't have the little barbs on them. They're just some snelled hooks. I've got two boys and they will make good use of these. Uh, I see these being very useful because um, they're about ready to graduate to uh, yellow perch fishing. So live bait on these I think would be useful. Um, the long shaft would be good too just for bobbers just because, uh, you know, bluegills tend to swallow the hook when they really hit it. So these will get some use. Uh, these growing for my boys. Now this 
Worm Rival. Anise, I, uh, whatever scent. Crappy Bash, Blast Blue Trout. So I've seen larger versions of this from other manufacturers. The fact that this is so small. Now I just moved and I live near a river. It's actually about a hundred feet that way. And it's, it looks like really good trout and fall fish territory. So I think this will actually get used in the river because I've been thinking about nothing but trout magnets. This is just like a step up in the soft bait category with a little more action. I think I'll catch a few fish on this. Uh, I don't think it's worth a lot of money just because it's a pre-rigged bait. Once you shred it, it's shredded and it's done. But I think I can catch a few fish on this. I actually like this. So that's the box. I'm terrified to know what caused the moisture in here, but whatever. So quick review of what I got. So these grubs, eh, whatever. I think this frog is worth a shot. I think these hooks are good to have because there, there's also a river near work which is loaded with channel cats and blueheads. So I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna start kayak fishing. Unfortunately, I don't have hooks for these, but whatever. I've never fished with uh, such a dark spinnerbait, but so this is the maybe pile. This is me being exposed to new things. So Z-Man winner, Rage Tail winner, this rival worm, well, I wouldn't pay more than a couple a dollar fifty for that, which honestly it might be at Walmart for that price. High floater. Uh, these things, the smell in these is really interesting. It's not strong and putrid and gross like a lot. So this is a me, me I'm, you know, I think it's a winner. I love the, the white pearl colored uh, soft jerk baits. So yeah, it is what it is. These are big winner. These, while there's only five of them, I think these are an incredible job shot rig. So five of them, I'm probably gonna catch three or four bass on each of them. Happy with that. I can never be too upset with a square bill. Um, the chartreuse, I, I don't know how valuable that's gonna be with a square bill, but we'll see. Two to five feet. I can think of a few places where I'm gonna fish this. I think I'm gonna catch fish with this. Uh, I usually go with like the silver or the shad color. It's just be nice to mix it up uh, when it's square bill time, but well, my square bills aren't working. I think this is actually a good addition. And my kid's gonna like these, and again, a cheap option. So for $15, okay. So going back to what, what was the original price? 40 something dollars. I don't see 40 something dollars value here, but for 15 bucks, yep, I got my money's worth, absolutely. I've got, I'd say the plastics alone, I'm happy with. That's 15 bucks. That, icing on the cake, that'll be fun. My kids can use those. So then we have these two, which are absolutely new for me. They don't, I've never worked a brown bellied frog. Cause again, what are the fish gonna see on a floating frog? They're gonna see that. I don't know if this is gonna work. So this is gonna be a fun one to play with. Um, I've never fished this paddle tail style of frog either. So this will be really interesting. This war eagle, I'm really interested in this. I've never had one with the rattlers already on. I've had to install them myself on a couple. I don't think I have any black trailers. Um, so I'm gonna have to get something for a trailer for this. No. So red or black, I think will work fine. But I, I think I like this. I like this for low visibility application. You got a nice willow blade so you could go slow retrieve, big thump, lots of rattle, lots of noise. I think this might, I think this is probably gonna be the lure that is the, the new experience for me. And because of the value I have here, not counting this, so there's my 15, more than my $15 that I'm happy with. Bonus, new experience, new experience. 
I think this is going to be the great new experience. I suck with tubes. I don't know why. I think this is going to be the... Oh. And these... I'll, I'll... I don't know. I don't fish with cut bait or live bait very often outside of yellow perch. And those are too big for perch. So... Yeah, whatever. For $15, let's get that phone back out. So this box... $85 MSRP. Yeah. I think these three cost more. That probably is expensive. That's probably expensive. Cream lures are always very inexpensive, so I'm not convinced that's expensive. I, I don't see $85 here. Don't care. $47, you know what? I think if I walked into a local shop, I could probably pick this all up or an equivalent for all of these things for around that price. I think $47 is a fair price for what I got. So $15, that's a steal. Uh, so if you're, today's November 1st, 2019. If you were looking at Lucky Tackle Box's multi-species tournament bonanza box, and by the way, this is a no subscription required item. This is my first ever transaction with them. I've never got anything from Lucky Tackle Box before. This box, and when they say, uh, where is it? They won't be available for long. I agree with them. I think these are going to sell quickly. I don't think they're all going to be the same. I think you're going to get something different than I got if you buy it. But for $15, this is a steal. I'm thrilled. I mean, these things are freaking huge. I'm excited about these. I'm excited about these. I'm excited about these. Excited about those, excited about those. I'm really interested in how these are gonna run. This is gonna be a long-term staple in my lineup. I'm gonna catch a bunch of fish with this, but honestly, I it's not expensive. 15 bucks, this is a haul. Now, I found two other deals, and there are going to be two other videos coming. They just haven't arrived yet. They are from Mystery Tackle Box, not Lucky Tackle Box. But since I couldn't find a video on this particular box, the Multi Species Tournament Bonanza Box, this is what you get. And I am thrilled. Awesome. Have a good one.